Hi everyone, my name is Abby Sengel and I'm a Service Desk Coordinator at Calvi Library. Uh, before we get started, I wanted to say that I hope you're all doing well, staying safe during the time of crisis, that you're able to be with family, friends, loved ones. Um, so I hope you're all doing okay. And I wanted to let you know that the library is here to help. So what we're doing in this video today is I'm gonna show you guys a little bit more about a really cool resource that will let you request articles and chapters from other libraries that Falvey may not have access to online. So Falvey does have access to, to quite a few resources, millions of resources um, through the databases that we subscribe to. However, we don't have everything that's ever been published. So sometimes you may need to request things from other libraries. So this is different than requesting books. Um, this is actually just requesting a scan of an article or a scan of a chapter that other libraries might have access to online. And basically they're just sending that electronic copy of the article over to you for your own use. So I'm gonna walk you guys through that process today. I'm gonna share my screen. And this is what it's gonna look like um, if you encounter an article or a chapter that Falvey does not have access to online. Um, there's a few different ways to get to this page, but generally this is what it's gonna look like to, to start the process. So we've got the information about the article up here, um, the journal date, um, the DOI, other information about the article itself. So you'll see this note that the article is not available online. Um, and to get this process started, you wanna click get a scan. And again, this is gonna start our process to request the article um, electronically from another library. When you click get a scan, you'll be redirected to the interlibrary loan login page. It's called Iliad for short. And you wanna put in your villain of a username and password. So it's just the username, not the email. And then you'll be redirected again to a page that will have the article information populated already, which is really cool. Um, if this is your first time using Iliad in a library loan, then you'll have to create an account first, um, but you should still be able to get back to this page to request an article. So again, just kind of scroll through, you'll see the fields that are already populated. Just double check that to make sure sometimes they, um, most of the time is correct, but just in case, just go through and double check. Uh, the other thing you want to look at is this needed by date field. So this just tells us when you need the article by and it helps us prioritize the requests. So if you need it for a paper that's due April 20th, maybe you want it a few days before at the very latest. Um, so you put in the date of April 4th. I'm sorry, April 10th. Uh, for when you need that article by. And this is just the last possible day that, that you think you need the article. Um, a lot of times the article will get to you within two to five business days. Um, everything, um, if everything's working smoothly and correctly. Um, sometimes you may even get the article that same day, but it just kind of depends. This is just the absolute last date that you need the article by. Um, other information about the article, um, you can also fill in this information down here if you think it's something obscure that you want to provide additional information to help us find the article for you. Um, when you're done, you just click Submit Request, and the request is filled. Um, so the request goes out to other libraries that, that look like they have access to the article. When it's, available to, um, when it's available for you to download, you'll get an email notification. Um, all you have to do is log back into your Iliad account and then download the article. Once it's downloaded on your computer, you can have that electronic copy um, as long as you need it. There's no expiration date. Um, the loan will not expire, nothing like that. Uh, the link to download the article will expire, however, so make sure you download it as soon as possible just to make sure that that link does not expire. Uh, that PDF copy of the article will be available to you. Um, you can keep that on your computer in a cloud uh, for as long as you need it. If you have any questions about um, requesting articles, about requesting articles from other libraries, go back to the library homepage. And you can use the live chat weekdays from 9 to 5 p.m. You can also email ill at villanova.edu. Again, that's ill at villanova.edu if you have questions about um, existing requests or if you have any trouble placing that form, um, placing the request form. So uh, that's really all I had to do uh, for you, with you guys today. If you have any additional questions, again, feel free to use that live chat. Feel free to reach out to us. Um, we're here for you. We really want to help. So please just let us know if you have any questions. Um, thank you so much for listening today.